everybody. So today we're going to try Labatt Ice, uh, 24 ounce can, 5.6% ABV. I did pick this up along with Molson Ice, so I'm not sure what the total was, but I do know one of them was four for five bucks. Uh, so let's see if there's a date. Yeah, there's no date on there. So let's go ahead and open it and get it into a glass and see what we think. I've never had this before. Um, I don't even know if I've had a Labatt Blue. Holy cow. It's pouring down the side. Is there a hole in there? I don't know if I have anything to clean that up with. Nothing. Okay, so hopefully I don't stick my arm in there. Um, Bigger bubbles on this one, uh, almost a uh, translucent head coming up, uh, kind of a yellow goldenish color in there, about a quarter finger of head. Lots and lots of bubbles coming up. Uh, this is more golden, more golden yellow than um, the Molson Ice. I will be doing a side by side of this and that one. Uh, but yeah, I can make out the bell sticker and the light box through there. Um, lots of bubbles. Let's go ahead and smell. So if you're new to ice beers, what it is is after fermentation, uh, the actual uh, temperature, they bring that down and ice crystals will form. They'll pull those out and that'll give you a little higher ABV. It's supposed to be smoother taste too. Smell. A little sweet malt. And that's it. Um, now, I just did uh, the Molson Ice one. This smells a little cleaner, um, a little crisper. Uh, dates, could that uh, other one have been a little older? Could have been. Um, there are no dates, so I have to go by with what I'm drinking now. Uh, but yeah, that uh, there is a little sweet malt in there, which I think you're going to find on all these. It's not going to be hoppy. Uh, probably hops aren't going to come through as a fruit or anything like that. They're just kind of trying to balance it out, but they don't do a good job. But yeah, cleaner smell than the other one, but we'll get into that in the side by side. Let's go ahead and taste. Definitely smoother. Definitely smoother. Um, that it, it seems like this has a little bit more maltiness in the back. Like you get a little sweet malt up front uh, that's good but then in the back it's kind of a little bigger of a malty taste it almost tastes like there's a hint of citrus or something in there i don't know if that's just me the the body is lighter also but yeah that sweet malt in there, I think it works better with how smooth this beer is. Um, I'm going to say a touch of citrus. I don't know if that's just my mind playing tricks on me. But yeah, it seems like it's got a little hint of citrus in the back. Then even into the aftertaste. The aftertaste is more of that malt. But it's not, it's not overpowering. This one, um, for the body, it's pr it is on the lighter side. Um, it's not completely light, maybe a quarter going up um, to medium. Um, this one is, but yeah, for this one, I'd probably have to go with a three out of five. I think this this is uh, one to you know drink in the summer. Um, the the ABV. I, I guess is a little higher um, than just a non-stop drinking beer, but even um, a seltzer could be 6%, and if you can drink eight or nine of those, this is only 5.6. Um, I wish these ice beers were around seven, but my guess is because of the grains, 
um, and they don't balance them out very well. That's why they're keeping them this low, like under six, uh, because I think you would really get into a lot of multi sweetness in there because they would have to, you're extracting the, uh, the sugar from the grain. So they're going to have to add more so that maltiness would get bigger. But yeah, three, three out of five for this one. Let's check untapped. Two of my friends have checked it in. Average 2.88 out of five. Almost 6,000 people have checked it in. Average 2.51 out of five. So I'm a little bit higher, but that's fine. Yeah, if you're into ice beers and you don't like that big multi taste, this might be one that you want to try. So if you enjoyed this review, check some more out over here. And until next time, happy brewing.